Thinking about swapping factory 215 55ths R17 for chunkier 225 55ths R17? In this video, we expose how that extra 10mm width and 11mm height affect clearance, handling, fuel costs, and your dashboard accuracy. The 225 section gains 0.39 inch width and 0.43 inch overall diameter, yet almost every OEM 17x7 rim welcomes it. Spin the steering to full lock with suspension compressed. Ensure at least 5mm strut gap and no fender liner kiss. If clearance squeaks, a 3mm hub-centric spacer or quick plastic trim resolves rubbing. Remember to retorque lugs after 50 break-in miles. The half-inch diameter bump lifts axles by roughly 0.2 inch, barely noticeable to passengers, yet enough to spare exhaust flanges from scraping steep driveway crowns and help front splitters clear taller speed bumps during daily urban wandering. Extra tread width adds weight, but the 1.6% taller gearing slightly lowers highway revs. Expect perhaps a 0.51 mpg drive op in city stop and go, and near break even efficiency during steady motorway cruising if tire pressures stay correct. Visually, the 225 S fill arch is better. Sidewalls appear 0.22 inch taller, while shoulders stick 10 millimeters prouder delivering a subtle sport touring stance that whispers performance without screaming aftermarket aggression. Slightly deeper sidewalls, cushion pothole edges, softening harsh jolts. However, heavier casings create a muted, low-frequency hum and add a hint of vibration through the steering over coarse asphalt. The extra 0.39-inch tread increases lateral grip in dry bends and resists tramlining on highway grooves. Yet the 0.22-inch taller sidewall flex softens initial turn-in. Taller effective gearing mutes throttle snap, but overall high-speed stability improves thanks to expanded footprint. With circumference up 1.36 inches, your dash now underreports speed by 1.6%. At an indicated 20, GPS shows 20.33 miles per hour, meaning odometer accumulates fewer miles and cruise control lags behind traffic flow if uncorrected. ABS, ESC, and lane keep algorithms tolerate roughly 3% variance, so the 1.6% change stays safe. Still, flashing tire size secures accurate shift points and fuel range predictions on infotainment readouts. Switching to 225 55s R17 yields small but worthwhile benefits. 10 mm wider rubber, 0.43 inch bigger diameter, 0.2 2 inch taller sidewalls, and slightly improved grip. Trade-offs include a 0.5 negative 1 mpg dip, muted throttle response, and a 1.6% slow speedometer. Fitment remains easy, electronics happy after a quick reflash, and the visual upgrade is tasteful. If you want more confident cornering without harsh ride penalties, this interchange hits the sweet spot. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment your take.